Hi guys, within this lecture, you are going to look at how to change the content of a video layer within the timeline without changing the time that this video is in the timeline. For example, let's extend all this. Okay, and then I want this video to start at 10 seconds, just 10 seconds over here to be precise. I'm going to trim it. Here you are. And then I want it to end at 20 seconds. Okay, I will trim it again. But whatever is happening in the video, whatever is appearing is not what I want. Well, I'm going to show you the technique how to change the content. It's called slip in Premiere Pro, in fact. But in After Effects, it's called panning this method will only work if you have a left and right handles so the left handle is some frames on the left okay of the video itself that you haven't put in the timeline you have trimmed from 10 seconds to the beginning and you need also the handles on the right it means you have trimmed from a certain point to the end of the video so you have some space from left and right to move the content of the video. The first option goes like this. Notice the mouse pointer when I come to the left handle. It turns into a double arrow with two bars. It means I can click and move the video. Okay. So I'm changing the content of the video. Usually what you do, you come to the in point or the out point and you click to change the content and decide where you want your video to start. For example, from here. Okay. Or, not both, of course, you come to the out point and you decide, okay, where you want the video to end. Okay, guys? So if you wanted to start at a certain point and somewhere else that's not included, then you need to split it. We'll see that later. So actually, this is the method if you can see the handles left and right. If you don't have them, you can do that. Well, there is also a tool in After Effects. This is the pan behind or anchor point tool. So actually, it works for the anchor point tool, and also it's a pan behind tool. So instead of just coming to the handles, when you are in the pan behind tool, you can click and drag your layer. So you decide, for example, you come to the in point. This is what you usually do, and decide exactly where you want it. From time to time, you want to come to a certain time, you know, let's say 15 seconds or so, and you decide where your video should be at 15 seconds. For example, on the transition over here. So this is the pan behind tool. But let's go to another composition here. I have put some keyframes. Now, usually what happens, you will draw a shape and you will change the position of the anchor point. And you're still in the pan behind tool and you come and click and you say nothing is moving. Well, actually, this is a shape layer. It's very long. It's for the whole content of the composition. So if you use the pan behind, you can't pan anything. It's just one shape. But if you select a keyframe and use the pan behind tool and move to the right, for example, notice it's moving the keyframe while extending the shape layer. So the shape layer is not cut. You have a lot of left and right handles. Here you are. You notice what's happening. If you select the first keyframe, the same will happen. If you select both of them now, actually it's just moving the layer left and right with the selection tool. Cool. Now, when it comes to videos, if I select this layer and I didn't select any keyframe, of course, I'm panning left and right, okay, within the content of the video. Now, if I select a keyframe, here you are, you notice the keyframe is moving and you know, some funny things are happening if you don't notice which tool you are using. I will undo that. Something else I want to show you that I forgot here. I want to change the color first of all here. I'm going to take it to blue, something dark. Okay, we can see them now. You notice when I pan left and right, if I go too much on the right, where it is not really the start of the shape layer. We started the shape layer when we created it at this point over here. So you have these small dots over here or the small oblique lines. It means this layer has been shifted to the right. But then at the end here, they don't appear. Okay. So you will have this kind of oblique line to tell you that, okay, you shifted this layer. Cool, guys. So this is how to use the pan behind tool. And remember, when you're selecting a keyframe, it's going to move the keyframe. Very practical method when you want to delay an animation for any kind of layer, shape or video. By the way, everything I talk about here for the shape layers or the still layers, then it works for the images, okay? And even for some of the video techniques, will work for images. But of course, you're not going to pan an image. It doesn't make sense. It's fixed.
Okay, so this is how to use the pan behind tool and this is how to change the content of your video when it's in the timeline, keeping the time of the video constant. I'll see you in the next lecture.